Hi guys, what's up? Charlie Aquino here from Upskill Videos and welcome to a brand new After Effects tutorial. And a special shout out to the members of Graphic Artists Philippines, our Facebook group. Thank you very much everyone for the wonderful comments na natanggap natin dun sa post ko. And I, I'm really amazed by the show of interest to learn After Effects. And I know how difficult it is sometimes na mag-aral ng After Effects kasi napakalaking program niya. Eh, no? And it's not really that easy to learn. So I hope in this video and then the series of videos that I will be producing in the future, uh, matulungan kong ma-upscale ma ba yung, yung, yung kaalaman natin tungkol sa After Effects, especially dito sa Pilipinas. Ano? And as promised, uh, I'll try to record this one in Tagalog and some of my tutorials as well in Tagalog uh, so that a lot of Filipinos can learn from it. So anyway, uh, in this video, napakasimple lang ng gagawin natin. It's going to be something like this. So ganito yung gagawin natin. So basically, we have a text layer na ina-animate natin yung bawat character to fly in from a point in 3D space. So it's a very simple tutorial, but it's uh, you can find it very useful, especially kapag gumagawa ka ng mga videos. Pwede mong gawin tong ano parang opening uh, animation mo to your logo uh, or uh, opening animation to a text. Alibawa uh, gumagawa ka ng mga wedding videos, pwede opening title sequence. So let's hop on and create a new composition. So click on composition, new composition. And if you if this is the first time you're using After Effects, a composition ito yung this is where we make our animations in After Effects. So the very basic is magse-set ka ng composition, you name it. So in this case is 3D text uh, fly in. So lagay natin. And then set the preset. Uh, normally I just select HDTV 1080 uh, 25. Uh, you can choose whatever you like. Uh pwedeng yung 29.97 okay and then i never really change the square pixels so just use the square pixels there frame rate is 25 and here is the duration so you can set it to any duration that you like so this is 10 second duration so let's just keep it at that uh medyo mahaba yan, but uh, i think it's a good enough settings so once you're happy with that just click ok and you will be presented with a blank composition now, I downloaded a background from um, Wallpapers, uh, what's that website? Uh, Wallpapers Wide. So, sabi ko, gusto kong magkaroon ng uh, bokeh background. Uh, I don't know, paano ba i-pronounce yun? Bokeh, bokeh, I don't know. Basta nakakaintindihan tayo. So, let's just drop it in. So, this is the file that I downloaded. Bokeh, and let's just drop it in. Okay. And then let us just uh, add a simple vignette to this layer. Go to your effects and presets panel. And then type in CC, CC vignette. So, yan. And then double click on it to apply that very subtle vignette doon sa background natin. And then let's just lock this background para hindi natin accidentally magalaw. And then let's go and type in our text. So just select the type tool here at, at the top, yung sa toolbar, and then click on your comp area and type whatever text you like. So in this case, upscale. Okay, and then let us just center that text on screen. So yan. Now, medyo hindi natin nakikita, no? Uh, palitan natin ng font color. So go to your character panel. So you should see this character panel. And then, so this is the font. And then let's just select a color for it. So select first our text. Select a color for it. And let's select a, a red color. So, yeah. So I like to always pick a color from my background. I think that's nice. Uh, it's a good starting color. Now, ang kailangan natin gawin is we need to separate each character of this uh, text into its own separate layer. So what uh, we need to do is select this text and go to your layers uh, menu and click on create shapes from text. Itong create shapes from text, ang ginagawa nito is it, it changes yung text mo. So nakita nyo na nawala na yung eye. Ibig sabihin hidden na siya. 
napalitan na siya ng isang shape layer. Now, if you drill down this uh, small triangle here and also the contents, makikita mo na yung bawat letter uh, has its own uh, group dito sa shape layer na to. Okay? So, the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer uh, six times kasi we need seven copies of it. Kasi we have our word is seven letters. So, we need seven uh, occurrences of this. So, just select this layer. Hit Control D six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that you have seven copies of your text. Now, let's rename this first. So to rename a layer, just select that layer, hit Enter, and then type the name that you want. So letter U. So say say natin. And once that is done, let's go one by one to each layer. So let's start from the top. So twirl this down, this triangle, and twirl the contents. So this is the last letter L. So kailangan nating i-delete yung mga naunang letters. So select all of them by clicking the first uh, letter U, and then holding down Shift and clicking the last letter and pressing Delete. So isa isa yan. And then we do it for all of the other layers. So twirl this down, contents, select this one, and then the last letter L. Okay, and then let's do it for the rest. So I'd like you to, to do it on your own. So maybe if I fast track ito. All right, now each of this uh, layer now is uh, is isang ano, uh, letter. Okay, now, ang kailangan natin ngayon is ilagay natin ngayon yung anchor point ng bawat letter dun sa center niya. So here in this case, I'm not seeing my control handles. So I'll go to view and make sure to check this show layer controls or press control shift H. Okay. Now when I select the letter U, makikita nyo na meron na siyang uh, blue uh, squares around it. Tapos meron ditong napakaliit na parang circle in the middle. Ang tawag dyan is the anchor point. Yung anchor point is yan yung kumbaga parang reference kung saan... Uh, uh, magsiscale down or iikot yung bawat letter mo. So say for example ito, if I press S and scale it down, pag nilitan ko, makikita mo na yung letter U niya, uh, lumilit siya relative dun sa anchor point na yun. Okay? So ang kailangan natin gawin is lagay natin sa center yung anchor point na yan. So what you can do is select the pan behind tool, ito yun sa menu. This one here is called the pan behind tool or kaya press the letter Y. And isa-isahin natin, so sa U, let's put this anchor point dun sa center niya. So for letter P, the same thing. Let's put it sa center niya. For letter S. Alright, so lahat ng anchor points natin nakalagay na ngayon. So ito yung basic setup na kailangan natin gawin. Now, for the fun part. Okay, select all of your layers and click on the 3D button here. Itong button na to na may parang 3D cube to make each of these layers a 3D layer. Alright. So, sa starting point natin, let's go to uh, 2 seconds. Okay, down in our timeline. Press R to bring in the rotation. Okay. And set a keyframe to our orientation. So, magkakaroon ka ng keyframe sa orientation ng lahat ng layers na yan. And then, press U. Another one time. So, para ang lalabas lang is yung keyframe natin dun sa orientation. Now, ito yung ending state natin. Then, let's go back to the beginning of our frame. And select uh, the rotate tool. Itong tool na to. Uh, or press the letter W. So, to select the rotate tool. And then, isa-isa, gawin natin. So, letter U, you just rotate it, whatever you like. Oops, nagkamali na naman. Yung anchor point natin na wala. So, let's press Y again. Let's make sure that anchor point is the, at the center. Press W again for the rotate tool. So, ikutin natin yan. You just, ikutin nyo lang however which way you like. Letter P, ganun din. Ikutin nyo lang however you like. Letter S, just click on it, rotate it. And again, yung anchor point natin, nawala. I don't know what happened. Press Y. Center the anchor point there. Press W. And then, ikot nyo lang. Uh, then, let's select the letter K. 
ikot natin. Whatever. So you have a beginning state. Ito yung beginning state niya. And when you scrub through the timeline, ang mangyayari is umiikot yung mga letters mo to its final state. Now, I want you to select all of these keyframes and let's add an ease to it. Select all of them, right-click on it, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Or you can just press F9. Okay. Now, go again to uh, the point that's at 2 seconds. And this time, with all of these layers selected, hit P to bring in the position and make a keyframe here. So, magkakaroon ng keyframe sa lahat ng yan. And then, go to the beginning. Okay. And then, i-adjust nyo yung Z dimension nito. So, pull it backwards to negative space until lumayo siya. Malayong malayo. So, whatever direction you like. So, I like it there. So, nandyan lang. And then, select all of these layers. And again, right-click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Or just press F9. So what happens now is makikita nyo na mag-zoom in yung characters natin and it will land on its final position. Now what I'd like to do is again, I would go at the very beginning, select all of the layers again, and this time hit the letter T to bring in the opacity and make a stopwatch here at the opacity and go maybe about 10 frames, press shift page down once, so to move 10 frames, yan yung shortcut key. And then let's add another keyframe there. Let's put our uh, time indicator again at the beginning and then let's set the opacity to 0. Para lahat ng letters natin magsisimula at 0 opacity and then it will go at 100% opacity as they move in. Then you can again select these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Alright, now we have our base animation. Okay. Now, let's move our time indicator to 4 seconds and hit the letter N para maiklian natin yung ating workspace. And then, let's press space bar to preview what we have. There you have it. It's a very simple animation and na, na, na build na natin. Now, a couple of things na gusto kong idagdag natin. Let's add a camera to our layer by hitting layer, new, camera. So, let's just set it to its default. Click OK. So now you have a camera uh, in play. So, so mag mangyayari, magagaling sa malayo yung characters yung ngayon at lalapit siya. So that's nice. But I, I feel na masyado siyang malayo. Ano? So let's adjust again. Let's select our layers again. Hit on P. And for the starting position, let's uh, make it near. So somewhere there, pag nakikita natin, Makikita naman natin yung outlines eh. So, we have an idea kung nasaan yung mga layers natin. I think that is perfect. So that when we preview it, mag appear siya somewhere there. Alright. What I would like to do is, normally, gusto ko par parang pag nag-land yung text natin, gusto ko parang constantly nag-move pa siya backwards. So, to achieve that, I will go, I will animate the camera slightly. So, select, uh, put your time indicator at the beginning of the camera, hit P, uh, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe at that position and then go to 4 seconds and then pull back this value uh, to your the final state so ganyan so para meron lang siyang constant motion na nangyayari and then the other thing that I would like to do is I I would like to cascade the appearance ng mga text no? hindi yung sabay-sabay sila kasi ngayon pag nag-animate sabay-sabay yung text natin eh they happen all at the same time. So what I'd like to do is magsisimula sa uh, U, then P, so U to L. So what I what I will do is I will cascade them. I-offset ko lang yung starting point ng bawat layer by about 3 frames. So I will select the letter P, pressing shift, select the last letter L, press alt, page down 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Ang ginagawa niyan, binumove niya yung layers na selected by about 3 frames. And then do it from S, select S to the last L. Do it again, Alt, page down three times, one, two, three. And do it for the rest, K to L, one, two, three. 
And there you have it. Once na offset na siya, let's preview our work. And there you have it. So napansin nyo, no? So isa-isa na ngayon nag-appear yung letter. May stagger effect siya. Tapos tuloy-tuloy na gumagalaw. Now, that's, that's the end of the tutorial. And I hope you learned something from this. It's a very simple one. Sabi ko nga sa inyo. Uh, and then you can just uh, add your bells and whistles to this. But at least ipakita ko sa inyo yung basic concept or basic idea on how to create a very simple animation such as this one. Now, yeah, you can implement this on your videos, uh, on whatever footage that you have. And uh, I'd love to see what you can create from it. All right. Thanks again for watching. And remember, always keep learning. Bye.